Hello, my Choo Choo family. I'm your fun-loving epic vlogger, Tom Choo Choo. This is our fourth episode, okay? So you are so <laughs> used to it right now. How long did it take you to rehearse that? Ever since it first started. Okay, I don't uh, care. I'll tell you next time. Today, I am also doing another keto mukbang with my sister, Sandy Cheeks. Hi. And today, I actually made my own cheese dip. And we're doing Let's taco do today. Taco! Yay! Yeah. Yeah, I am so hungry. <laughs> today, we have pork belly, we have shrimp, and we have... Tortillas that are keto? Yes, we have tortillas that actually only have two net carb per tortilla. Hold on. Before we dig in, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so we can keep moving on with our keto mukbang. Anyway, let's eat. How do we set up? Uh, How did you anticipate this? It's a buffet style, however you want. Ah, uh, okay? okay. Oh, we forgot. Go for it. What so today, Sandy is oh, going to gosh. ask me questions. Yeah, so last time he <laughs> destroyed me with uh, slangs and terms from the gay community. Yes. And today, we are quizzing him on... It's more for the younger generation. Oh, the millennials. The millennials of 2020 and 2019. Popular slang terms, and I'm going to see if he knows them. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna get them. Oh, do you know some of them? I know all of them. I made oh, the list. Okay. I didn't do what you did and yeah, look I them up, up on Google. Online. These yeah. are the ones that my you... friends frequent and I frequent. Oh, you, you use it all the time. I don't know what I'm time. doing. <laughs> it looks like an egg omelet. <laughs> I don't know okay, what I'm you're down. doing. All right. Go for it. Yeah. I am just going to use my hand to dip. Broccoli Yum, and the cheese. In the cheese. Oh my god, broccoli cheddar soup is really good. Mm. Ooh. I've never tried my cheese dip. Is it is gross? Time? Actually, it's not. It's really good. <laughs> he had to say actually. Mm. Actually, it's not horrible. Is this pork belly? Mm-hmm. How am I going to eat a broccoli in a tortilla? It's too, like... Then don't. How did you envision this is what I want to know. I really wanted a broccoli dip. And that is all. And then you threw in tortillas <laughs> and called it tacos. And then I thought, hey, you know what? This is actually really cute. What else can I put in tacos? <laughs> but not broccoli. <laughs> you know... The Mexican tacos at taco truck, yeah. they only give you the meat. Yes. And then you put like the salsa on top. Uh-huh. So why do you want to put broccoli in there? Do you think this is Taco Bell? Do you think this is the Del Taco? <coughs> this is Tom Truck. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope this never opens. <laughs> oh, very cute. It looks like dish. I'm just going to put pork belly in there. Too much. That's too much work. <laughs> dun, 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 What mm. do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't drink milk, guys. I put it guys. in my mouth, I couldn't taste the, the, cheese. the cheese part. Cause yeah. I was chewing this part, but as soon as it mixes, it's really good. Oh my god, that's all you're doing? Yeah. He put this whole thing, and he's doing that. Okay. Yeah. Two different types of people here. Mm. Here we go. Mm. How is it? Oh my god, it looks so good. Oh, it's not going to focus, huh? Mm. You like it? I this think I should put more cheese. Move. Yeah, I think I should put more. I, I think I'll... Yours looks really dry. Would you care for some sauce? Oh, I forgot my Cholula. Okay, so... Are you ready? Yeah. Give me some terms. Easy ones first, please. Okay, we have everything listed on my phone. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm excited. Okay, I'll start really easy. I'm sure you've heard most, if not all, of these terms okay. at one point. Because you just said it. 
<laughs> Maybe. Okay, yeah, I probably said it. The one that's the most popular, I guess, right now that everyone's using is I'm dead. I'm dead. You used it like 10 times. <laughs> but do you know From what it means? And then, is it the same amazing. thing as I'm gagged? Oh, um, shoot. How do I explain it? <laughs> <laughs> Undead is more, is it more like, oh, I can't do it. <laughs> How do I explain it? You'll fail. <laughs> At least I it's have a so, meaning. It's so <laughs> common. It's kind of like I agree with you that it's funny, but it's also like. <laughs> okay. Have you heard people use it before? Besides me? But I thought it was more like, oh my god, this is too funny. I can't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Something's really funny. You're just like, oh, I'm dead. Oh. Instead of actually laughing, you oh. say, I'm dead. Like oh. something so funny. So you didn't know what that meant. Does that yeah. even count? Yeah, I think so. Huh? Okay, let's see. Let me mark that one as done. Oh, do you, okay. People say this all the time. That's fire. Huh? <laughs> what? You really don't know? Um, People say something, I'm sure something, it's not. Something's fire. Okay, if I would have just guessed the word, I would say. That's pretty hot. That's hip. That's trending. No. Right no? Uh uh. That means it's really good. Like this cheese dip, it's fire. <laughs> it sounds gross because I don't actually personally use these terms, but everyone around me, they do. Okay. Yeah. When something's really good, like, yo, that's fire. <laughs> it's really common, I swear. Millennials, you guys need to get your <laughs> shit together. A fire? Of, Come on. A lot of these are cringe and I personally don't like them, but... Please don't go to the movie theater and say, <clears throat> Yo, that movie is fire. <laughs> People are going to be like... Uh, I don't know if they would say for movies. It's mainly for food, I want to say. Oh, okay. Or like, oh, that girl? She's fire. <laughs> okay, so something hot, <laughs> but very good. Yeah, uh, hot or really good. Or. Okay. Dead ass. Dead ass. <laughs> is it cringing the same thing? saying this? Mm -hmm. Is it dead ass? Use it in the sentence. Um, someone robbed my car yesterday and took my camera and my phone that was in the car. Like dead ass. Is it what I said before? Like I can't or like distraught. It means like I'm dead serious. <laughs> dead ass. Dead ass. That means for real. Okay. So if I say something crazy, you can be like, dead ass? And I'll be like, yeah. <laughs> dead ass. <laughs> People say this all the time. Dead ass. There's no way you haven't heard this one. Mm. Lit. Well, I heard that. <laughs> I think it's a hype, no? It's very hyped up. Okay. In like, a way. Yeah. Legit. For that party last night is lit. Mm -hmm. Like it was popping. Yeah. I, I, uh... I think we give him that one. Mm -hmm. Sus. Subscribe my channel. <laughs> <laughs> Sus. Sorry, it's not an abbreviation. It's uh, it's just uh, yeah, a short expression of a term. It's a short version of a long term. Suspected. Close. For getting warmer. <laughs> Supposed. We got real cool. <laughs> God damn it. Suspicious. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So if I think you're being suspicious, I'll be like, why are you being sus? <laughs> why are you being sus? <laughs> You've never heard these, huh? I knew no. it. Honestly, um, this is how everyone talks now. Everyone. Use your whole sentences, people. No. I really like this cheese dip, guys, by the way. It's fire. It's fire. Ew! Even though before it looks sus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can be lit, all right? Dead ass? <laughs> <laughs> cap. This one's the most common in 2020. Cap. You're capping. Cap is a small, I mean, it's a shortened word C -A -P, or something, cap. right? No. Or something you put lid on? 
Nope. <laughs> um. So it's just a shortened word of something. <clears throat> Capitalized. It's just cap. It's just cap. Like, do you ever hear someone say no cap? Or do you ever hear anyone say you're capping? You're capping right now. Puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> you are <laughs> puzzled. <laughs> I am lost. Cap means like no lie. And if I say you're capping, that means you're lying. Like you're bullshitting right now. <laughs> Everyone why? says this. But why? Says this why? Says this so no. much. I don't know. They I don't should like have it. an origin somewhere. Let me call. <laughs> I'll find out. <laughs> Hello, Capital. <laughs> Are you dead ass? <laughs> <laughs> I feel so. <sus. laughs> That's the wrong number. You should call that one for that one. Imagine a new movie coming out and everyone just using the new millennial terms. I don't. I wouldn't understand what they're trying to say. Dead ass. That's why you have me. <laughs> so what's no cap? No lie. No, no. It means like no lie. No lie. Yeah. How do you use it in a sentence? I don't know how, but you would just because say, I'm capping. Maybe not so much <laughs> emphasis on the G. It's more like capping. Cap. Like, no lie, right now. Cabin yeah. in the woods. <laughs> cap. <laughs> Captain. Cap like this cheese dip is fire. No cap. Like no lie. No bullshit. I saw. Yo, this cheese dip is getting attacked today. <laughs> you probably okay. I say this a lot. Yikes. <laughs> mm. Yikes. <laughs> What's yikes? That's terrible. No. Do you hear big yikes or just yikes? Yikes. People say big yikes. <laughs> is it more like ouch? Ew. <clears throat> Huh? <laughs> Is that just you being confused? <laughs> Big yikes! If you say something like inappropriate, and I caught it, I'll be like, "Yikes!" Like inappropriate, like sexually, and I and I caught the drift. I'll be like, "Yikes!" Or like if someone says something, "Oh, the other day at the club there was this girl. She was really drunk, and like, uh, her clothes were hanging low, and you can see her body, whatever, whatever." And I'm telling you the story, and you'll be like, "Yikes!" But that, like that, like like almost like that's embarrassing. But usually, okay, I heard this term before, but I always thought that people would mean like, <laughs> "Ouch, that's painful." Because so if I go this, <laughs> say yikes. No, I would say ouch. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> retract your statement. <laughs> but I always felt like, on those kind of the same thing, mm. like your expressions can be somewhat the same. No. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> We didn't know. Okay. I'm shook. Oh, um. <laughs> <laughs> you got stunned by something. <laughs> like you're stunned. Yeah. By like a bee? No, <laughs> I didn't. Like. No, <laughs> you got stunned, and then you're you're in shock. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm shook. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're just shaking. Yeah. yeah. Like, dang. I'm Hit shook. that like button for me to get this right. <laughs> I'm shook. No matter how many likes you get, it won't save you now. <laughs> okay, this is one that I don't hear frequently, but my friend says it frequently. Okay. I'm gassed. <laughs> Okay, that's not. You can smell it, but she gasped. <laughs> Something smelly. Mm -hmm. Like usually in a sentence. Oh, I, like you asked me if I want to go to the gym, and I'm like, oh, I just got off a twelve-hour shift. Like I'm gassed. You're beat. Yeah, You're like tired. I'm tired. I'm I, like I have no more gas. Like you know, oh, in a car. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Like I'm out of gas. Like I'm gassed. Mm -hmm. Oh, I use this frequently. <clears throat> Facts. <laughs> Facts. It, isn't that just a term? What does that mean? <clears throat> What does it mean when people use it? That means it's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean. I was like, "Facts." Isn't that just? Well, it's true. Yeah, but you've heard people use it, right? Yeah, yeah. I heard a couple of people. I actually <clears throat> used it. Because people start using it. Yeah. Yeah. Facts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> All right, kill it. 
I mean, this one you can use in multiple ways, but yeah. there's only one way I'm talking about right now. So what's that way? Kill it. Uh, Kill it. Finish it. Oh. Okay. What about clear it? Can you clear that? Can you clean that up? <laughs> hey, that's a proper oh. way of using. Yeah, it, it is. <laughs> What does it mean? That you, can you finish that challenge? Can Quite you beat possibly. that? Maybe. Can you clear this and subscribe and like the video? <laughs> can you? This one is. I'm game. I'm down. Okay. Yep. I'm down. I'm game. Oh, the cheese is so good. Mm -hmm. It's like quesadilla. Mm hmm. Mm. <clears throat> that it. Period. <laughs> it's not what you think. Use it in the sentence. Don't worry about anybody else. You focus on yourself and do what makes you happy. Period. Is it like a conclusion of something that you say? Mm -hmm. It's like, like concluding it, but it's like it's like an emphasis. It's like this is my bold yeah. statement, almost like a motto, something very empowering. What about big flex? Big flex? Big flex. Big flex? But no, not that kind of flex. Stretchy? <laughs> <laughs> like flexible? Oh, yeah. Nope. Have you all gotten these terms? Yeah. I'm sure a lot of people have heard these. Because I'm so lost. <laughs> Flex. Mm -hmm. Flexuate. That's fluctuate. First of all. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> it means like showing off. Oh. Mm -hmm. Never heard of it. That one. Like one. he drove his really expensive car with whatever, whatever to the party just to flex. Mm. That's a big flex. I wouldn't get that. <clears throat> Simp. This one's been around forever. Simpin'. Are you a simp? You're such a simp. That's not a wimp, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not a pimp, right? No. Simple. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> nope. I don't think you're going to get it. Simp. Um, that's not, that's use my illogical, illogical mind. I'm dead. <laughs> it means you're so stupid. Where'd you get that from? That's I told you. Illogical, illogical mind. mind. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? No. It means like, apparently it means a male who is so like helplessly in love with this girl and will do anything to make her fall in love with him. Oh. You guys are just sim. Oh. <laughs> I know exactly who you're talking about. A male about. that... Who? You have someone in mind? Yeah. What are you talking about? Who? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> mm -hmm. No cap. I'm dead. dead ass. <laughs> We're annoying. Word. I regret teaching him these. You can see me like non-stop chasing the same terms. Last one. Shoot. Snatched. You stole it? Her ponytail looks snatched. <laughs> no, she didn't steal that. <laughs> she didn't steal it. Her ponytail looks snatched. Like... It's not stolen. Very slick. Mm-hmm. But... It's like fashionable, trendy. Really fit, like very on point. On point. Snatched. Okay. Mm -hmm. like your would... outfit looks snatched. But when you say snatched, I almost feel like I'm just... So, so in a way, your ponytail is kind of like... how I feel like snatch so someone grabbed on it mm -hmm. right and then when they grab so the ponytail will be snatched <laughs> like I'm not dead. quite it's definitely not <laughs> I think that's it you how got... many did you get it right people please leave in the comments they got a ton I believe in them they got a ton I got what three maybe okay. yeah I'm not gonna count them but you can count it for me and leave in the comments Anyway, well, we pretty much finished all the tortillas we have, so oh, yeah. I didn't eat that it much. was a pretty good meal, I have to say. I'm a pretty good cook, I have to say, period. <laughs> <laughs> I 
um, please uh, like and subscribe, but not sus this channel so we can keep moving on with this keto mukbang. Anyway, bye. What you else? know, sick, right? Like, oh, that's sick. Yeah. What about people say like, I fuck with it? It's almost like I'll type that. No. Tap. Mm -hmm. A person. Mm -hmm. No. Like, I fuck with his cheese dip. Like you're a fan. I fuck with it. You've never heard people say that. Yeah, and then they're like, they add an S, like, oh, I fucks with it. Oh. Uh, no, never heard of that. <laughs> Whatever.